Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we will design the transconductance amplifier circuit and we will try to vary the resistor value R3 which controls the input and based on this variation, the current across the output of the op amp is varied and in turn the brightness of the LED varies. So we would be doing this particular tutorial on Tinkercad and uh, for more such videos request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Log into Tinkercad using your Google account. Now click on new and click on circuit. Now we get the schematic editor or uh, the space where we build our circuit. So first thing we require is the breadboard. So we place a small breadboard uh, and uh, the other list of components for this particular circuit we require is the operational amplifier which is 741 operational amplifier. So we place this particular 741 uh, operational amplifier as shown in this particular tutorial. Next, we require the resistor and the LED and the battery for this particular circuit. So we require the potentiometer, which is the R3 resistor, where we vary the R3 resistor value. So let the value of this potentiometer be 10 kilo ohm as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to place a battery or a voltage source so click on the battery which is a 9 volt battery and place this particular battery on the schematic editor or the workbench so now connect the positive terminal of the battery to the positive rail of the breadboard and the negative terminal of the battery must be connected to the negative terminal of the breadboard. Now connect the terminal 1 of the potentiometer to the positive rail of the breadboard and the wiper of the potentiometer is connected to the terminal 3 of the op-amp which is the non-inverting or the inverting input of the op-amp as shown in this particular tutorial. Now select the resistor. So we require two resistor. The resistor will be 1 kilo ohm resistor and a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. So place this resistor across the output of operational amplifier and the value of resistor will be 1 kilo ohm. Now from the positive rail of the operational amplifier we connect to the terminal 7 of operational amplifier. Now click on LED and place this particular LED on the schematic or on the workbench. Now connect the terminal of the LED, LED to resistor. Now we can change the LED color uh, as red, yellow, green. It's left to you how you want to, uh, which color you want. Now from the terminal to connect to the anode of the LED and next we have to place the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. So this value needs to be changed as 4.7 kilo ohm. Now from the cathode of the LED, 
connect to the terminal 1 of resistor and from the terminal 2 of resistor is connected to the negative end or the negative rail of the breadboard. Now the pin 4 is connected also to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now the inverting input that is terminal 2 is connected to the wire which is between the LED or the cathode terminal and the R2 value the 4.7 kilo ohm R2 value so make th make those connections accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial Now we have to search for the oscilloscope and place this particular oscilloscope on the schematic window. Let the time per division be 100 microsecond and the negative terminal of the oscilloscope is connected to the negative rail and the positive terminal of the oscilloscope will be connected across the resistor R1 and across the anode so make those connections accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial Next, the terminal 2 of the potentiometer has to be connected to the negative terminal of the breadboard rail as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to simulate this particular circuit. So start the simulation and uh, you can see the LED uh, is glowing now let us change the brightness by varying the uh, R3 or the potentiometer so we are varying the potentiometer and you can see the voltage drop across the oscilloscope as well as the brightness of the LED so this is one of the uh, application of the transconductance uh, amplifier circuit Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.